Hello and welcome to the quizcompany.net's January 2021 quiz. The January quiz will last approximately 50 minutes with the answers as well. And all of the following questions do pertain to January. Now you can pause the quiz at any time. So if you want to go and get yourself some paper and a pen and get ready for the quiz, please feel free to pause at any time. You can also download the free answer sheets, which you'll find on this post on Facebook. You'll also find them on the website at www.thequizcompany.net. Now, if you'd like to advertise on any quiz or sponsor a quiz, or even have your own bespoke quiz set for you, all you need to do is just give us a call or message us. My name is David. You can contact us at the info at the quiz company.net or via messenger on Facebook. Rates start from as little as five pound a quiz. So please feel free to give us a call anytime. Five, four, three, two, one. So if you're ready for the quiz, let's get started. We're going to start with five picture round questions. The first of which is number one. Born in January, name the actor who portrays Newt Scamander, one of the main characters in the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series of films. It's so question number one. Name the actor who portrays Newt in the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series of films. Question number one. Question number two. Again, born in January, American singer-songwriter Dolly Parton was born on the 19th of January, 1946. But she has only ever worked from nine to what? That's American singer-songwriter Dolly Parton has only ever worked from nine to what? Question number two. Born in January at number three, filling the missing word from the Muhammad Ali quote, float like a, sting like a bee. I'm not the greatest. It's hard to be humble when you're as great as I am. So that's question number three, filling the missing word from the Muhammad Ali quote, float like a, sting like a bee. Question number three. The fourth of your picture questions. Once again, born in January, Martin Luther King Jr. was fatally shot by James Earl Ray at one minute past six on Thursday, the 4th of April, 1968. But in which American city? That's question number four. Martin Luther King Jr. was fatally shot on Thursday, the 4th of April, 1968. But in which city? Question number four. Question number five, going back a little bit here, born in January and considered a heroine of France for her role during the Hundred Years' War, Joan of Arc was known as the maid of what? So that's question number five, consider a heroine of France for her role during the Hundred Years' War, Joan of Arc was known as the maid of what? Question number five. The next section is all about this January. So we're going to start off on question number six. Two members of the 1966 World Cup squad were finally awarded MBEs in the 2021 New Year's Honours list. Ron Flowers was one, but can you name the other? Two members of the 1966 World Cup squad were finally awarded MBEs in the 2021 New Year's Honours list. Ron Flowers was one, but can you name the other? Question number seven. Ferry Cross the Mersey singer Jerry Marsden sadly passed away, aged 78 in January of 2021. But with which band did he find fame? That's question number seven. Jerry Marsden found fame with which band? Question number seven. Now for question number eight, we're looking at computing. Which browser plugin that brought animation and interactivity to the early web officially reached the end of its life on January the 1st, 2021? Question number eight, 
which browse a plugin that brought animation and interactivity to the early web, officially reached the end of its life on January the 1st, 2021. Question number nine. What was the first official number one UK single on January the 1st, 2021? So question number nine. What was the first official number one UK single on January the 1st, 2021? Question number nine. And number 10, England's third coronavirus national lockdown legally came into force on what date in January 2021? So it's question number 10. England's third coronavirus national lockdown legally came into force on what date in January 2021? Sports next up. So with question number 11, which football team was top of the Premier League on the 1st of January 2021? That's sport at number 11. Which football team was top of the Premier League on the 1st of January 2021? Number 12, Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton has been knighted in the Queen's 2021 New Year's Honours list. But how many world championship titles does he now have? That's question number 12. Lewis Hamilton has been knighted in the Queen's 2021 New Year's Honours list. But how many world championship titles does he now have? It's golf at 13. Which American-born golfer is currently top of the PGA FedEx standings? That's as of the 4th of January 2021. Question number 13. Which American-born golfer is currently top of the PGA FedEx standings? As of January 4th, 2021. Question number 14. Which AFC North NFL team have secured a playoff spot for the first time since 2002 with a win over the Pittsburgh Steelers on the final day of the regular season? That's number 14. Which AFC North NFL team have secured a playoff spot for the first time since 2002 with a win over the Pittsburgh Steelers on the final day of the regular season? For number 15, we move into darts. Welshman, Gerwin Price, won his first PDC World Championship with a win over Gary Anderson on the 3rd of January 2021, but at which venue? So it's number 15, Welshman Gerwin Price won his first PDC World Championship with a win over Gary Anderson on the 3rd of January 2021, but at which venue? The next five questions are your movie links. Each question features two slides featuring films linking one actor or actress who has a new film scheduled for 2021. All you have to do is name the 2021 film. You'll also get guest stars in there as well to give you a little bit of a clue. So question number 16, you have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and Cowboys and Aliens, which actor or actress was in those films that has a film coming out in 2021. This one has a guest star of Rami Malek. At number 17, your films are Alien and Avatar. Which actor or actress has appeared in those films that also has a new film coming out in 2021? The supporting star in this one is Bill Murray. It's Alien and Avatar. New film scheduled for 2021. Which actor or actress also starring Bill Murray? Number 17. Number 18, two films are Mission Impossible and Tropic Thunder. 
Now, which actor or actress appeared in those films that has a film coming out in 2021 also? The support on this one is Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Question number 18. On to 19, the two films this time round. Bill and Ted Face the Music and John Wick 2. Now you're looking for an actor or actress that appeared in both of those films and has a new film coming out in 2021. The new film also stars Carrie Ann Moss. That's question number 19. The Fast and Furious 6 and the Justice League feature at number 20. Name the actor or actress in the two films that has a new film scheduled for 2021. The new film also stars Kenneth Branagh. That's number 20. Next up, it's dates. Five questions, multiple choice answers. All five of these questions are related to January. Question number 21. English explorer Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in the Valley of the Kings near Luxor in Egypt. But was it January of 1914, 1924 or 1934? But was it January of 1914, 1924 or 1934? Number 22. The death of Donald Campbell, while at a speed of 300 miles per hour, crashed the jet-powered speedboat Bluebird on Coniston Water. But was it January of 1947, 1957 or 1967? Donald Campbell, while at a speed of 300 miles an hour, crashed a jet-powered speedboat named Bluebird on Coniston Water. But was it in January of 1947, 1957 or 1967? Number 23. Elizabeth I was crowned Queen of England while at the age of 25. She was daughter to Henry VIII's second wife, Anne Boleyn. But was that in January of 1559, 1659 or 1759? Elizabeth I was crowned Queen of England at the age of 25. But was it in January of 1559, 1659 or 1759? Twenty-four. Inventor John Logie Barr demonstrates his new television machine to members of the Royal Institute of London in January 1926, 1936 or 1946. Inventor John Logie Barr demonstrates his new television machine to members of the Royal Institute in London. Was it January of 1926, 1936 or 1946? That's number 24. And at 25, Sir Winston Churchill died at the age of 90. His body lays in state in Westminster Hall in London. But in what year? January 1960, 1962 or 1965? Winston Churchill died at the age of 90. But was it in January 1960, 1962 or 1965? That's question number 25. Your music round comes next. These are number ones on January the 1st at the turn of each decade. Six artists pictured, but only five songs. All you have to do is match up the artists to the songs, and you will hear the music twice. 26. We don't need no education. 27. We don't need... No thought control. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teacher, leave those kids alone. 27. Well, tonight, thank God it's them. Instead of you, and there won't be 
snow in Africa this Christmas time. The greatest gift they'll get this year is life. When nothing ever grows, no rain or rivers flow. 28. You can take the future, even if you fail. I oh, believe in angels. Something good in everything I see. I oh, believe in angels. When I know the time is right for me. I'll cross the stream, I have a dream. 29. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Aha! Uh -huh. Killing in the name of. Killing in the name of. 30. Saw him standing here in a bakery. Holding the biggest sausage roll I've ever seen. Didn't know it would turn me on. But I've never seen one so long. And I knew it was going to be wrong. But I want meat, yeah meat. Baked in puff pastry, yeah I want meat, yeah meat. Singing, I love sausage rolls. So put another one in the oven, baby. I love sausage rolls. So eat it with ketchup or gravy. And one more time. 26. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teacher, leave those kids alone. 27. Well, tonight, thank God it's them instead of you. And there won't be snow. In Africa, this Christmas time, the greatest gift they'll get this year is life. When nothing ever grows, no rain or rivers flow. Twenty eight. You can take the future. Even if you fail. I oh, believe in angels. Something good in everything I see. I oh, believe in angels. When I know the time is right for me. I'll cross the stream. I have a dream. 29. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Killing in the name of... Killing in the name of... 30. Saw him standing there in a bakery. Holding the biggest sausage roll I've ever seen. Didn't know it would turn me on. But I've never seen one so long. And I knew it was going to be wrong. But I want meat, yeah meat. Baked in puff pastry, I want meat, yeah meat. Singing, I love sausage rolls. So put another one in the oven, baby. I love sausage rolls. So eat it with ketchup or gravy. General knowledge comes next. And at 31, what brand of scooter was introduced by Italian manufacturer Piaggio in 1946? What brand of scooter was introduced by the Italian manufacturer Piaggio in 1946? 31. Thirty-two next. After how many years would you celebrate your crystal anniversary? Question number thirty-two. After how many years would you celebrate your crystal anniversary? Number 33, one for the gamers around there. Worldwide, what is the best-selling home video games console of all time? That's question number 33. Worldwide, what is the best-selling home video game console of all time? Question number 33. Dubbed Dracula's Castle, Grand Castle, is located in which European country? It's question number 34. Dubbed Dracula's Castle, Grand Castle, is located in which European country? It's question number 34. And at 35, from what country does Cronenberg 1664 originate? Number 35, from what country does the beer Cronenberg 1664 originate? Now the next section is entitled, Really? Basically, it's true or false. You have to tell me whether the answer is true or false to the following crazy American laws. Question number 36. Is the following American law true or false? In Alabama, it is illegal to drive blindfolded. You may be banned from driving and receive a substantial fine. Is that true or false? It is illegal to drive blindfolded in Alabama. True or false? Number 37. Is the following American law true or false? In Nevada, you are breaking the law if you pay a psychic. Number 37. In Nevada, you are breaking the law if you pay a psychic. Is that true or false? 37. Number 38. Is the following American law true or false? In Connecticut, a pickle is legitimate only if it bounces. Failure to comply can result in arrest and fine. In Connecticut, a pickle is legitimate only if it bounces. Failure to comply can result in arrest and fine.
Question number 39. Is the following American law true or false? In New York, slippers are banned after 10 p.m. Fines may be incurred. Number 39. In New York, slippers are banned after 10 p.m. and fines may be incurred. True or false? And the last American law, number 40. In New Jersey, bulletproof vests are banned while committing a crime. You may be prosecuted and receive a jail sentence. So number 40, in New Jersey, bulletproof vests are banned while committing a crime. You may be prosecuted and receive a jail sentence. Is that American law true or false? Number 40. It's time for your history section now. Once again, all pertaining to January. Question number 41. Which famous diarist started with the first entry on 1st of January, 1660, writing, Blessed be God, at the end of last year, I was in very good health. That's question number 41. Which famous diarist started with a first entry on the 1st of January, 1660, writing, Blessed be God, at the end of last year, I was in very good health. Number 42. The Euro currency came into being in which year? Was it 1991, 1995 or 1999? That's number 42. The Euro currency came into being in which year? 1991, 1995 or 1999? Question number 43. In January of 1877, Queen Victoria was proclaimed as Empress of where? In January 1877, Queen Victoria was proclaimed as Empress of where? Number 43. Question number 44 this time. Originally called the Daily Universal Register, which current newspaper began publishing in 1788? Originally called the Daily Universal Register, which current newspaper began publishing in 1788? Question number 45. January 1892 saw the start of a process whereby 20 million people entered the USA via which island before it closed in 1954? January 1892 saw the start of a process whereby 20 million people entered the USA via which island before it closed in 1954? The following section is Who or What Am I? Now, who or what am I can be real or fictitious. A person, a place, an item or a date can be absolutely anything. Five clues coming your way. And the earlier you get the correct answer, the more points you get. So we'll start with clue number one for five points. Born in 1874 to Randolph and my American mother, Jeannie, who were rich by normal standards, but poor by those of the rich. We lived in Oxfordshire, but moved to Dublin when I was six. It was here that my brother Jack was born in 1880 and I was sent to boarding school back in England at St George's in Ascot. Clue number two is worth four points. I did poorly academically and regularly misbehaved. I barely passed my exams, but managed to get into the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst on the third go, becoming a second lieutenant in the 4th Queen's Own Hussars Regiment of the British Army, serving in India, Cuba and the Sudan. Clue number two is worth 
four points. I did poorly academically and regularly misbehaved. I barely passed my exams, but managed to get into the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst on the third go, becoming a second lieutenant in the 4th Queen's Own Hussars Regiment of the British Army, serving in India, Cuba and the Sudan. Clue 3 for 3 points. I became a reporter for the Morning Post while serving under Field Marshal Kitchener in Egypt. During the Boer War, I was held prisoner of war in Pretoria. I escaped and returned to England in January of 1900, taking residence in Mayfair. I became a reporter for the Morning Post while serving under Field Marshal Kitchener in Egypt. During the Boer War, I was held prisoner of war in Pretoria. I escaped and returned to England in January of 1900, taking residence in Mayfair. Next up, clue four for two points. In February of 1901, I took seat at the House of Commons, where I gained notoriety for my outspoken opinions about the Conservatives, my own party, for whom I became Home Secretary in 1910. In February of 1901, I took seat at the House of Commons, where I gained notoriety for my outspoken opinions about the Conservatives, my own party, for whom I became Home Secretary in 1910. The fifth and final clue for one point. I was first Lord of the Admiralty in 1914 and oversaw the preparations for naval conflict in World War I. Little did I know then that it would be me who took the main seat in World War II for the first of two stints as Prime Minister before passing on January the 24th, 1965. I was first Lord of the Admiralty in 1914 and oversaw the preparations for naval conflict in World War I. Little did I know then that it would be me who took the main seat in World War II for the first of two stints as Prime Minister before passing on January the 24th, 1965. Now, should you need a tie break, we come to the tie-break question. Now the nearest to the correct number wins. So here's your tie-break question. How many rooms are there at Buckingham Palace? It's your tie-break. How many rooms at Buckingham Palace? Nearest to the correct answer takes the point. Okay, so now it's time to add up all your scores. Let's see how you've done. Ready for the answers? Here we go. Question number one was to tell me the name of the actor who played Newt in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. The answer, of course, is Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne is the answer to question number one. Number two, Dolly Parton was born in January of 1946, but she has only ever worked from nine to five. As the song says, so the answer is five for question number two. And number three, you had to fill in the missing word from the Muhammad Ali quote, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So the answer is butterfly for number three.
At number four, Martin Luther King Jr. was fatally shot. But in which city? The answer to this one is Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, the answer to number four. Number five, the French heroine Joan of Arc was also known as the Maid of Orleans. The Maid of Orleans was number five. On to sports, number six, two members of the 66 World Cup squad were awarded MBEs in the New Year's Honours list in 2021. Ron Flowers was one. The other was Jimmy Greaves. Jimmy Greaves. And Ferry Cross the Mersey singer Jerry Marsden passed at age 78 in January 2021. But the band he was famous for was Jerry and the Pacemakers. That's the answer to number seven, Jerry and the Pacemakers. At number eight, the plugin browser name that you were looking for that officially came to the end of its life on January the 1st, 2021, was the Adobe Flash Player. The Adobe Flash Player is the answer to number eight. Question number nine, the first official number one UK hit single on the 1st of January, 2021, was Don't Stop Me Eating by Lad Baby. From the 31st of the 12th 20 to the 6th of the 1st 21, Lad Baby, Don't Stop Me Eating. The answer to question number nine. Number 10, the third coronavirus national lockdown in England legally came into force on Wednesday the 6th of January 2021. Wednesday the 6th of January 2021. At 11, which football team was top of the Premier League on the 1st of January 2021? It was Liverpool by goal difference. Liverpool is the answer to number 11. And number 12, Lewis Hamilton has seven World Championship titles to his name now. That's seven World Championship titles for Lewis Hamilton. Number 12. Answer number 13 now. The American golfer currently top of the PGA FedEx standings was Dustin Johnson. Dustin Johnson. Answer number 14, which AFC North NFL team secured a playoff spot for the first time since 2002 was the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns is the answer to number 14. At 15, we went for darts. Welshman Gowen Price won his first PDC World Championship with a win over Gary Anderson at Alexandra Palace. Alexandra Palace in London is the answer to number 15. Film links came next, the first of which was at number 16. You had to link the two films and work out the scheduled film for 2021. At number 16, the answer was No Time to Die. Daniel Craig, Brizzy Link. No Time to Die is the answer to number 16. Number 17, Alien and Avatar both starred Sigourney Weaver, who has a 2021 release with Ghostbusters Afterlife. Also starred Bill Murray. The answer is Ghostbusters Afterlife at number 17. Number 18, Mission Impossible and Tropic Thunder both starred Tom Cruise. Now his scheduled film for 2021, also starring Val Kilmer, is Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick, number 18.
Next up, number 19, we had Bill and Ted face the music and John Wick 2. Both films featured Keanu Reeves, who also stars with Carrie Ann Moss in the 2021 scheduled release, The Matrix 4. The Matrix 4. The last of your film links, number 20. The two films you had were Fast and Furious 6 and The Justice League. Both of those films starred Gail Gadot and she stars with Kenneth Branagh in the 2021 release Death on the Nile. Death on the Nile is the answer to number 20. On to your multiple choice questions now. Answer number 21. Well, we had Howard Carter discovering the tomb of Tutankhamun. You had three choices, 1914, 1924 and 1934. The answer was the 3rd of January 1924. 1924, the answer to number 21. At 22 was the Donald Campbell's Bluebird on Coniston Water question. Three answers were 1947, 1957, 1967. The answer was the 4th of January, 1967. 1967, the answer to 22. Twenty-three, and you had to work out in which year was Elizabeth I crowned Queen of England at the age of 25. Three options, 1559, 1659 and 1759. The answer is the 15th of January, 1559. 1559. Number 24, inventor John Logie Bard demonstrates his new television machine to members of the Royal Institute in London. Was it 1926, 1936 or 1946? was indeed the 27th of January in 1926. 1926, the answer at 24. Number 25, Sir Winston Churchill died at the age of 90. But was that 1960, 1962 or 1965? Winston Churchill passed 24th of January, 1965. The music round came next, number 26 to 30. You had five songs, marry them up to the pictures. At number 26, the first song you heard was Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall, part two, picture C, picture C. 27 was band A2, Do They Know It's Christmas, picture A, A. 28, Westlife, I Have a Dream, picture B, B. 29, Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name of, Picture D, that's D. And the last one, number 30, Lad Baby. I love sausage rolls. Picture E, that's E. Just one more time for you. 26 was C, 27 A, 28 B, 29 D, and 30 E. General knowledge followed. At 31, what brand of scooter was introduced by the Italian manufacturer Piaggio in 1946? The answer, as you probably well know, is Vespa. The Vespa was by Piaggio in 1946. Answer to 31. After how many years would you celebrate your crystal anniversary was at number 32. The answer to this one is 15. 15 years is the crystal anniversary. Answer number 32. At 33, worldwide, what is the best-selling home video game console of all time? As of 2021, the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 at 33. At number 34, we had Bran Castle, otherwise dubbed Dracula's Castle, is located in which European country? The answer is Romania. Romania is the answer to Brand Castle at 34. Number 35. From what country does Cronenberg 1664 originate? The answer is France. France is the answer to 35. Now we move on to the answers to your really section. The first up at 36 was in Alabama, it is illegal to drive blindfolded and you may be banned from driving and receive a substantial fine. Is that true or false? The 
The answer is true. The answer is true. Number 37. In Nevada, you're breaking the law if you pay a psychic. Is that true or false? Well, the answer to this one is false. However, it is actually true in Pennsylvania. Number 38. Do we have pickles that bounce in Connecticut? Well, the answer to this one is true. True, you must have a bouncing pickle in Connecticut. Otherwise, you could face a fine or arrest. On to 39. In New York, slippers are banned after 10 p.m. and fines may be incurred. Would you dare wear your slippers in New York after 10? True is the answer to number 39. The answer to the last really question at number 40 in New Jersey, bulletproof vests are banned while committing a crime. Well, again, we have a true answer. True at number 40. The history section was next on the list with your answer at 41 to which famous diarist started his first entry on the 1st of January, 1660. It was Samuel Pepys. Samuel Pepys at 41. A little more up to date at 42. The euro currency came into being in which year? Was it 91, 95 or 99? The answer is 1999. In January of 1877, Queen Victoria was proclaimed Empress of where? The answer to number 43 is India. India at number 43. Originally called the Daily Universal Register, which current newspaper began publishing in 1788, was your question at number 44. The answer to this one is the Times of London. The Times is the answer to 44. The last of your history questions at number 45 in January of 1892 saw the start of the process of whereby 20 million people entered the USA via Ellis Island. Ellis Island is the answer to your history question at 45. Who or what am I featured at number 46? You had five clues. The sooner you got it, the more points you were awarded. Now, the answer to number 46 was Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill. Sir Winston Churchill. If you got it on the first clue, you get five points. If you got it on the second, you got four. Three for three, two for four. And finally, if you had to go all the way to the end, you got one point for the fifth clue. Last but not least, it's your tiebreaker. And your tiebreaker this time round was how many rooms are there at Buckingham Palace? How many rooms are there at Buckingham Palace? The answer to this one is 775. Remember, the nearest two wins the point. So that's the end of the January quiz. Now it's time to add up your scores and see how well you have done. If you've had fun with this quiz, please note there are other quizzes available on the Facebook page and also at www.thequizcompany.net. There are regular quizzes, online quizzes, and a huge database of questions so you can make up your own quizzes at your own leisure. If you'd like to know more about The Quiz Company or would like to advertise on one of the quizzes, send us a message via Facebook or through the website or at info at thequizcompany.net. There are more quizzes in the pipeline, including some themed quizzes, including Disney, Big Bang Theory, Friends, and many others. You can also find a full-length Harry Potter quiz on the website that's available for purchase. In the meantime, that's it from me. Stay safe, folks, and hope to see you soon.
the end of the year, that's all, folks.